Good afternoon, friends. Once again, welcome you all for the one more session. That is complex number two. Just it is a continuation of last class. So I am Dr. Shanmu Kuchwar from Suresh Angri Education Foundations, Angri College of Commerce and Science, Samba Road, Bragavi. So today we discuss. argument last class we have discussed so what is mean by a complex number and basic terminologies and we have solved example based on that using a simple tricks here so just it is a continuation of a last class now we define what is argument of a complex number let z equal to a plus i b be a any complex number if this complex number is represented geometrically by a point p then the angle made by the line op with a real axis is known as a argument or amplitude of z it is represented as here using this diagram it is a represented so sometimes you may get a question it is a present in a which coordinate then so first coordinate or second or third or fourth okay then we should look at a real part real part is positive and the imaginary part is positive then it is a present in a first quadrant if it is a real part is positive imaginary part is sorry real part is negative imaginary part is positive then it is in a second coordinate then if both the real and imaginary part are negative then it is a present in a third quadrant if it is a real part is positive imaginary part is a negative then it is present in a fourth quadrant then argument of a z is defined by a expression tan inverse b by a where b is imaginary part real number a is real part of a complex number okay right we'll go through 15th example so last class we are solving 14th example now we'll discuss 15th example i read out the question if z equal to 1 plus i then the multiplicative to <coughs> inverse of z square is so z equal to 1 plus i is given we have to square it on both side so z square equal to <coughs> 1 plus i whole square so squaring we get a 1 plus i whole square that we have to expand it so a square 1 b square it is a i square minus 1 plus 2ab that is a 2i 2i then plus 1 minus 1 get cancels we get z square equal to 2i so looking at the 2i and option a don't guess it as a option is a right answer no question we have to clearly go through it a multiplicative inverse of a z square multiplicative inverse we have to find that is nothing but c it is 1 divided by z square solution 2i now i is present in a denominator so all of you know we have to do rationalization that is 2i conjugate is minus 2i we have to multiply and we have to divide it by minus 2i then further minus 2 minus 2 get cancels numerator multiplication 1 into i we get a i denominator simplification that is a 2 as it is 2 into 1 2 i into i i square i square is minus 1 minus 1 into 2 we get it as a Minus two. That is answer is minus i divided by two. That is option C is a right answer. C is a right answer. Now we will go to the sixteenth example. <coughs> so I read out if determinant it is a uh, third order determinant equal to x plus i y. Then we have to calculate the value of x and y 
Okay, so x is nothing but a real part of a complex number. Y is a imaginary real number here. Okay, then see before see it is a determinant. We have to expand it. If we expand it, um, yes, we we'll get a solution. Then real part and the imaginary part we have to equate x and y. We get it. So before expanding, see look at here minus three i plus three i. Same number with the opposite sign. One and a minus one. Same number with the opposite sign here. Then what I do is so I do elementary row operation as R1 changes to R1 plus R2 like this. Make a determinant maximum number of zeros. You know if we increase the number of zeros in the determinant, expansion will be very simple. So we get this as six i. Plus four, R one plus R two, minus three i plus three i, zero we get. Next we get a zero. Remaining other elements as it is, I write four, three i minus one, twenty, three i. So this is equal to x plus i y. Now we have to expand it. So it is. So expansion is six i plus four as it is. So corresponding column and row we have to eliminate. So we get yes, we get three i into i. So we get it as i into i square minus three. We get it minus sign. Then minus one into three minus three. So minus into minus plus three we get it right. Then it is a minus zero plus zero. See whatever we get a simplification multiplying with a zero. It is a zero. No need to write in detail. So x plus i y imaginary part. So here minus three plus three get cancels. We get the answer as a zero. Zero into this once again is zero. We get a zero equal to x plus i y so further i write this as 0 plus i times i times 0 equal to x plus i y then we know equating real part is equated with the real part imaginary part is equated with the imaginary part so we get the value of x equal to 0 Then value of y equal to zero. Therefore, option D is a right answer. So we will go to our next example. So it is a similar to our previous one. <coughs> See, I will read out solving three minus two y i equal to nine x minus seven i, where i square equal to minus one for x and y real. We get. Okay, <coughs> so procedure is very simple. Real part is equated with a real part. So I get it as three equal to nine x. So next, imaginary part is equated with the imaginary part. That is minus two y equal to minus seven. Right. Then for the So three I write as it is. Then nine can be written as three square as a nine here. Right. So minus minus sign get cancels. So solution for a y is seven divided by two. Okay. Here in this uh, expression seven by two is not there. So further I simplify seven by two. It is a three point five. So here bases are same. Powers we have to equate one equal to two x. So the value of x equal to it is one by two. So x equal to we get it as a point five. Point five. So x equal to point five. Y equal to three point five. So option A is a right answer. One more hint I will give you. See. Y equal to 3.5. You have to search here. So in this option A is 3.5. Remaining examples Y equal to 3.5. 
see we don't find it so no need to calculate x then directly we can say option a is a right answer okay this we we'll move to a next example so the complex number c is 1 plus 2i divided by 1 minus i lies in which quadrant of the complex plane so options are first second third fourth first second third fourth so i write a given expression here so this is 1 plus 2i divided by 1 minus i so this is our given expression so which quadrant it lies now i it is in a denominator <coughs> you have to multiply and divide by denominator conjugate after simplifying we have to analyze it is a present in a which quadrant here so i multiply and divide by its conjugate that is 1 plus i whole divided by 1 plus i 1 plus i now see we have to simplify 1 is multiplied with a 1 plus i we get a 1 plus i so next 2i is multiplied with a 1 plus i we get it as 2i into 1 2i yes next plus into plus plus 2 into 2i into i 2i square 2i square whole divided by it is of the form a minus b into a plus b suitable formula is a square minus b square that is 1 square is a 1 and then minus i into <coughs> i i square i square is minus 1 minus into minus plus 1 so we can further simplify this as so here it is a 1 i plus 2i 3i then i square is minus 1 so minus 2 we get it divided by 2 divided by 2 we get so <coughs> we can write 1 minus 2 as a minus 1 divided by 2 this is a real part of a complex number plus i it is a 3 by 2 see in a first slide we have studied so first coordinate is negative second coordinate is positive first coordinate is yes it is a negative and second coordinate is positive that is it is in a second quadrant it is in a second quadrant here okay therefore option b is a right answer option b is right answer so in such a case we have to draw a quadrant plus plus minus plus minus minus plus minus here. now it is in second quadrant here like this we have to analyze okay we'll move to our next example example number 19 the statement a plus ib is less than c plus id is a true for okay it is a true for what value we have to calculate so here it is so very simple so <coughs> if we take up different values here so here we can write the expression a plus ib is less than c plus id so here if we take yes if we take the value of b equal to 0 as well as a d equal to 0 here these are the complex parts here complex parts 0 then we get a a is less than c then it is a true so option c squares are there so what i do is i add it 
b its square is b square plus d square so it is a 0 plus 0 0 therefore option d is a right answer <coughs> next the multiplicative inverse of a number is the number itself then its initial value is okay its initial value is so multiplicative inverse means if it is a x plus i y is there x plus i y its multiplicative inverse is given by it is 1 divided by x plus i y so now <coughs> this question is multiplicative inverse of a number is the number itself it is ok then we have a four possibilities we have to check here it is first option i then it is 1 divided by i right 1 divided by i so i it is in a denominator so we multiply by its conjugate so 1 into i i i square into i into i i square i square is minus 1 we get i equal to minus i so a is a wrong answer similarly i take x plus i y as a minus 1 next its inverse is 1 divided by minus 1 so we get minus 1 equal to minus 1 right so b is a right answer here in such a case so we have to use a definition of multiplicative inverse then go through one by one the possibilities options here then we will get a correct answer in this example correct answer is b okay now example number 21 the conjugate <coughs> sorry the conjugate of a complex number we have to find out so so first preliminary steps 2 minus 3i divided by 4 minus i it is so uh, here denominator consisting of i so i told you okay from a beginning class if it is a i present in a denominator okay then we have to do rationalization and avoid a denominator i here so i have to multiply and divide by its conjugate so it is a 4 plus i divided by 4 plus i it is so numerator we have to simplify 2 4 is 8 plus 2 into i next 4 3 is 12 i then minus 3 i into i i square is a minus 1 minus into minus plus 1 see like this you have to solve it directly here don't write a step wise ok so 4 a minus b plus a plus b form it is a a minus b into a plus b a square minus b square 4 into 4 is 16 i into i, I square is minus 1 so what we get 17 here like this you have to write immediately here like this ok avoid c steps here and don't commit a mistake also you need a practice of solving like this example here now real part we have to simplify 8 plus 3 it is a 11 Similarly, 2i minus 12i, it is a minus 10i, 10i divided by 17, okay. Looking at a C option, don't write it is a correct answer. See, look at a question once again, conjugate of a complex number. So, conjugate, conjugate is given by changing the sign of a i. So, it is 11 minus 10, I write it as plus 10i whole divided by 17 therefore option b is a right answer okay so we will move to our next example okay i hope you you will answer it immediately yes conjugate of 1 plus i is yes so very simple conjugate means what in a last class uh, we have discussed so i sign we have to change it 1 plus i changing the sign we get a minus i 1 minus i it is so option c is right answer right so we will move to a next example ok so argument and a modulus of 1 plus i divided by 1 minus i are 
respectively or respectively see i take uh, expression this 1 plus i see very simple you need a practice 1 minus i denominator right so once again i it is a present in a denominator what i told yes we have to take a conjugate and avoid denominator i so i multiply by 1 plus i to balance it and divide it by 1 plus i okay so numerator it is of the form <coughs> a plus b into a plus b a plus b whole square so a square is 1 b square is minus 1 and 2ab is 2i and say i am writing denominator directly please answer it 1 minus i into 1 plus i yes it is a square minus b square 1 plus 1 that is going to be a 2 then plus 1 minus 1 get cancels dear students you are familiar with solution of such kind of examples right then 2i divided <coughs> 2 yes here 2 2 also <coughs> get cancels <coughs> sorry we get the value of z equal to i right the value of z equal to i then modulus means what it is a mod z equal to under this square root of real part square 0 and the imaginary part square that imaginary part is i its coefficient is a 1 that is a 1 it is a root of a 1 is answer is 1 ok answer is 1 therefore modulus equal to 1 modulus equal to 1 see we have a two possibility either a may be an answer right or d may be a right answer so here there is no see further option we should solve argument of a complex number so z i write r cos theta plus i r sin theta yes so further here it is uh, we can write this as i is 0 times i so now what i do real part is equated with a real part so r cos theta equal to 0 then cos theta equal to 0 and cos theta equal to 0 cos of a what value is 0 it is yes it is a cos 90 degree pi by 2 then cos cos get cancels we get a theta equal to pi by 2 that is option d is a right answer so argument of a complex number is pi by 2 and modulus of a complex number is 1 here right yes we will move to a next example next example that is example number 24 yes which of the following are correct for any two complex numbers z1 and z2 ok <coughs> everyone you are familiar with the properties of a complex number here modulus of a complex number so yes it is mod of a z1 z2 any complex number it satisfies ok mod of a z1 z2 equal to mod of a z1 mod of a z2 yes so option a is a right answer <coughs> yes we will move to our next example see uh, you have solved it for a 3 marks example in a first year this kind of a example but in a few steps I write a solution for this because you have to write a solution see within a 1 minute here right so next the given expression is x plus i y equal to under the square root of a plus i b divided by c plus i d i call it as a equation 1 so now further i write its conjugate x minus i y equal to under the square root of it is a c minus i d divided by sorry it is a a a plus i b 
divided by C minus IT. I call it as a equation two. Then further, see equation one and two we multiply. It is a plus b into a minus b. Its multiplication is x square. Then y into y, y square. Then minus it is i into i square is minus one. Minus into minus it will become a plus. <coughs> Similarly, next under this square root of. See this also multiplication. Numerator numerator multiplication we get a square plus b square. And the denominator we get it as a c square. Plus a d square. Now square root it is. If you transport it to that side, it will become a square. So x square plus y square whole square equal to it is a a square plus b square divided by c square plus d square. Right. Therefore, yes. Option A is a right answer. Option A is. Right answer. So, in a three steps, we have written a solution here. Like that, we have to use a shortcut trick for solving such type of example. Okay. Now, <coughs> we'll move to a next example. Example number twenty-six. The two numbers are such that each one is a square of the other r. So, you have studied i equal to root of a minus one. Yes. I read. I write it. I go to root of <coughs> minus one. Similarly, we have omega cube. Omega cube. It is called as a cube root of unity. Omega cube we go to one here. Now we have to choose such a pair here. We have four options. It is a see two numbers such that each one is a square of other. If you square Omega, you should get a next value. You should get it like that. It is okay. So here uh, D will satisfy that relation. See here, I take a omega, yes, then square it. Squaring, what we get here? Omega, yes, square here. Right. I take a omega square. Second option now. Second, this one. Omega square. I square it. Okay. Yes. What we get? Squaring. <coughs> omega is to four. We get it. Further, omega is to four can be written, written as omega cube into omega. And omega cube is a cube root of unity. One into omega. We get a omega. So omega square is omega square. Yes. Omega square is omega here. They are Square of one another. Therefore, option D is a right answer. You can check with the other examples also. See, D satisfies this relation. You have to do it in a very yeah, simplified manner, very quickly. Yes. Now, <coughs> next example. If Z one and Z two are two non-zero Complex number such such that mod of z1 plus z2 equal to mod of z1 plus mod of z2. Then argument of z1 minus argument of z2 is equal to. So this answer is obvious. It is properties of a complex number. Therefore, it is a argument of z1 minus argument of Z two, it is equal to zero. Therefore, option D is a right answer. Yes, we we'll move to a next example. The amplitude of the complex number. That is amplitude means in this class beginning we have discussed it is a tan inverse b by a. So amplitude. Amplitude of a complex number is tan inverse b by a. B is a imaginary real number. It is a one minus cos alpha divided by it is a a real part sin alpha. Okay. So using a half angle formula, 
I will simplify this. So it is 1 minus cos alpha using a half angle formula 2 sin square alpha by 2. Right? And sin alpha using a half angle it is a 2 sin alpha by 2 cos alpha by 2 it is. Now here I can cancel 2 and a 2 1 sin and 1 sin so we left with tan inverse <coughs> tan inverse sin alpha by 2 divided by cos alpha by 2 yes further see sin by cos it is a tan so it is a tan inverse tan alpha by 2 next tan tan inverse get cancels so we get yes answer as alpha divided by 2 here therefore therefore correct option is b is a right answer here b is a right answer ok yes further we will solve this example question is the amplitude of 1 plus root 3i divided by root 3 plus 1 amplitude we have to calculate so amplitude equal to it is tan inverse <coughs> b by a b by a right so uh, here i can write this as tan inverse tan inverse b it is a i coefficient root 3 a it is a real part of a complex number that is 1 then further tan inverse root 3 root 3 tan of a what value is a root 3 it is a tan 60 degree here 60 degree is not mentioned here directly it is written in terms of a pi values so i can write this as a pi by 3 yes yes then tan inverse and tan get cancels we get pi by 3 therefore see option a is a right answer okay so dear friends so possible all questions here okay i have solved it i have completed from complex number okay so any doubt you have any example here you can bring to the notice of us okay with this we will stop this session and uh, next class we discuss one more topic here okay once again good afternoon everyone thank you very much